Hello guys, uh, Voldemort DG here and today I'm back. So, first of all I want to apologize on very bad microphone. Um, I know it's bad but my good one broke and I really don't have any money to get a new one. So if DMO community wants to help me, you're welcome. But oh well, let's continue with our video. Uh, so our video is about how to become uh, strong in this game, how to progress and how to do, do the hardest dungeon, dungeons in this game. So, first you want to get is Alphamon or Ryuken or Susanamon. Susanamon is very hard to get and very expensive so I recommend you to go with the Alphamon or Ryuken. So, what I want to tell you guys, um, you want to get it on you, you want to get 5 slash 5 egg that's the most powerful than I mean it's much po much powerful than the 4 slash 5 and you want to collect like many fruits I mean many many fruits because you want to get it on size 129 or 130 percent uh, where you can find fruits that's well it's kind of easy and kind of hard guess how strong you are actually but this this video is mostly for the beginners beginners in this game so the most easier way but only for strong raiders I mean strong the stronger guys is through Ibanuman dungeon in the terminal not only in Ibanuman it's Zucharaman dungeon, Baihuman dungeon all kinds of dun dungeon and it's very easy to obtain those three dungeons you get tons of fruits every day there if you can farm it next thing you where you can get the fruits a uh, much easier way and most easier even the guys with normal digimons can do it because game progressed in last two years and there is much equipment very much possibilities of doing it so that's Eastern's dungeon in normal dungeon purple portal and there you have it you can just go in and farm it by yourself or your friends and yeah third way is Kimeramon hard but that's like very easy way of getting the fruits but mostly you won't get accepted in party if you don't have a good equipment and by equipment I mean on Arcana quad core, red quad, um, necklace, earrings, all equipment most for the raiders. So good luck with that and you need a lot of HP and I'm gonna talk about HP how to achieve it a little bit later. So fourth way is normal dungeon, that's the most slower process in this game to obtain fruits. It's um, you want to make sure to get at least rank 15 on every raid and drop box isn't 100% um, next thing after you're achieving your alpha mono ryuken you want to perfect clone it that's when you get go to the cloning chamber you have like when you put the clone you have little numbers which I'm gonna show in this video well you have um, small numbers where you want to achieve maximum I'm gonna show it a uh, maximum and if you're not achieve, achieve maximum you just want to use a reset capsule and try again and that's all the way to 15 uh, there is some clans in games but it's kind of rare they called uh, rain, reinforced digi clones and mega clones mega clones will automatically achieve you the most uh, maximum number without the fail and reinforced digi clones will uh, achieve when they are success of course the maximum ra uh, maximum uh, rate but it won't be 100% and you need to use on those steps um, the backup disk and backup disk disk you can also achieve only through um, 
dungeon dungeon uh, after that you want to achieve a uh, red blood core ring miracle or miracle ring four stats both of them have four stats um, and miracle special ring five stats if you have luck most of us in game don't have that ring because it's really special like it name says but yeah so how how can you actually achieve that those rings uh, you can get those <coughs> uh, rings by achieving rank one to thir third first or third the, well first till third rank on desert raids at them on school greymons spawn and that those raids spans every 14 minutes drop rate is about 30 percent or going to the adg and getting shiny or sealed version of Xuan uh, Abandonman Ring. That's the same quad, uh, same quad, it's same as Red Quad Core Ring, but it gets you the maximum stats. And yeah, it gets you maximum stats. You just have to use option change stones to get uh, good stats. So I'm gonna tell now recommend, recommended stats. I'm gonna write it on the notepad and put the picture or I can show mine well the recommended stats for uh, four stats ring is attack attack um, attribute attribute and it can be also attack attack attribute skill um, if you can't um, follow me by listening to my voice and remembering it put the uh, right on the paper or take a screenshot of the video or something so you want to get attack attack attribute attribute or attack attack attribute skill that's the minimum mm -hmm. uh, I mean uh, recommended but minimum what you need to be a good raider or strong player is attack attack attribute or skill and last set can be random. I recommend you to go if you have luck for the HP or something else. So as you can see, my ring here is attack, attack, HP, attribute, and that's the minimum. And as you can, as you saw in my last videos, um, that was mm, very good ring. I got very good ranks but as game uh, uh, progressed now it's kind of hard with those stats because there is like many buffs skill buff uh, skill damage buff critical damage buff blah 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 <sighs> after you achieve uh, quad core ring you want to get quad core necklace red of course or special one with five stats or you can also go to the dun dungeons, new dungeons, Abandon Zuchan and Baihumon, and achieve their um, shiny or sealed version where all stats are maximum. Yes, and again, same procedure, you need to buy option change stone or buy those necklaces and rings from the other players. It's not that much of expensive science. Um, this game, in this game, you can get easy money. I'm gonna do separate video for that. Separate video for leveling. Um, well, what do you want to get is the red quad core neck necklace. And recommended stats for those are attack, attack speed, critical damage attribute or instead of attribute skill and minimum is attack attack speed critical damage and then four stat random i again recommend you guys if you have luck go for the hp as you can see my necklace here is attack critical damage attack speed hp and that's very good then uh, very good um, stats but again not the best cause some players have the 5 stat neck and that gives them a huge boost in damage, HP, attack speed, critical damage and yeah. As you can see both of my uh, ring and necklace 
are max stats from the Ibanamond engine. Um, and it gives you maximum um, stats and you don't need to use number change stone. Number change stone is used for changing um, those numbers in the boroughs. Yeah. <sighs> after that, you want to focus after that, you will be semi strong, but not strongest, but also you won't be weak. You will level faster, you will level quicker, you will kill mobs quickly with one hit and that will be enough for progressing and being good in this game. After that, you want to focus on going for the small thing. I, I like to call those small things. But actually they're not small things and they're, they're kinda hard to get. The most important thing you want to get of, of small things is the uh, shiny glow from those Ibanamon, Zuchamon, Baihumon dungeon and in that you want to get those as, as you can see attributes we call them well that's their name of course and you want to get attributes from the that datamon hearted engine which is in the in the uh, desert map last last map of the desert combat we got before one year or so yeah and you want to farm that datamon hard and when you scan it you want to get the attributes between 270 and 280 those are the best because let's be honest 10, 10 numbers doesn't give you any difference but if you can get 2080 hey that's awesome after that one really really um, important thing to get is the uh, encyclopedia buff that's like most important thing and that's this buff burst ultimate wings it gives you attack speed 15 percent increase that will give you much damage if you have this good equipment uh, necklace if you have necklace with attack speed combined with this buff from encyclopedia you are very good you become much stronger with this buff so to achieve that buff from encyclopedia you need um, Burstmon for Myotismon Burstmon uh, for Vimon in Pillar Jump Paladin Burst Mode um, Lutzemon Burst Mode and I know it's really hard to get Lutzemon um, Satan Mode then Gallantmon Crimson Mode Ornismon Mode um, then Balujamon, uh, Burstmon for Captentamon, Tyrant Captarimon, and for Agumon, Victory Graymon mode. Well, with the last update, I mean, it's not the last, but previous one, I'm not sure, but for those, for that, you can now achieve Endomegamon, which is Jogress, and the Victory Graymon mode in the same Digimon, so you don't have to hatch it twice. And then on special one unlock this and on the other one that you know what I'm saying. Well so next what do you want to get is so you want to get the flame hooded uh, hooded shirt of Zuchamon but you can also get those ho hoodies from the Ibanamon dungeon and Baihumon dungeon and after that, that will give you much HP, very much HP, and HP in those three dungeons is like really, really important. It's not something you just wanna pass by and go for the attack, no. You want to continuously upgrade your attack and HP at the same time, because HP is very much important. Um, yeah, this will give you defense, it's not that important but yeah yeah I mean, you know it's just nice to have a combo um, after that you want to go for the 
this title, King of the Black Steel. That's that, that title you get by uh, completing the whole Baihumon dungeon, but you will get the same title, but with other names for completing the Ibanumon dungeon and the Chamon dungeon. So you want to go for first dungeon Ibanumon, which is most easier, and it gives you huge boost. I mean, for you guys, that maybe not seems like huge boost, but Believe me, once you get stronger, you you will realize how important it is to have this buff. So that buff will give you damage for, damage of um, 20 percent. Uh, I mean uh, 12, 12, 20, 12, uh, 12 percent. I'm sorry, 12 percent and at the attack of 100 increase, and that's like huge buff. Also, one thing you is Nice to have, but most of you don't. You will get that title by playing one year. Is this Master of Twelve Heavenly Generals? Um, you will do that quest every month, and after completing twelve months, or in other words, one year of playing this game, you will get this buff. It gives you HP of two thousand uh, increase and DS from two thousand increase. DS is not important, but we are talking about HP, and HP is always welcome. Um, attack chipset next you want to get after you get all of these things um, rings necklaces and earrings you want to go for the attack chipset which is um, very good to have and they give you like nice bu uh, nice buff in your attack and those are the chips you want to go for the value of 125 till 135 so 10 numbers again not big difference you can get anything from 125 to 135 and you will be set to go uh, next thing you want to do is and that's last thing and even I don't have that Thing, is to getting the blue digivice it's very hard to get you can achieve it through going to that data on hard mode and it's extremely rare to get it you have like chipset slots free and it's called uh, 102 blue HP 2 so yeah that digivice will basically give you one more slot here and you can put one more um, attack uh, chipset or hp depends what you need and one more thing i forgot i talked i didn't talk about is um earrings earrings have been added recently i mean not that really recently before eight months or so but most of you don't have it and the best stats for those are critical damage critical damage and um attribute or hp i have block well i'm not perfect i spend very much money on this uh i know very little money on this game i bought uh, around 500 uh, crowns for my whole journey i done everything on my own i was grinding i was leveling alone collecting money alone and I never spend actually money on this game and yeah I mean players who can spend money and have money will of course achieve that faster much faster because they will just uh, buy crowns sell uh, items in the shop and just buy op option chain stones and get the and get the stats and then use number chain stone and get the stats but you guys who actually can't um, uh, buy crowns and sell the crown item, you just have to go in on regular way and grind. That's all I can say. And after you achieve all those things, all those things, you are done. So at this point, you should be strong. Very strong. You could do all damage, uh, all dungeons alone, and basically you could even get the 
rank 3 on the dungeon raid rides <laughs> and all of those stuff so basically what you want to do here after you done all of these rings um, stats necklace stats earring stats you uh, after you got your globe uh, attributes in globes um, attack chips both of them after you get all of those things you want to go for one last thing which will make you like really overpowered and actually never die in dun dungeons is to get Kaiser Greymon and after Kaiser Greymon go for the Magnamon after that you will be done you will be strong player in this game you you will be able to do every dungeons and even the all new du dungeons which will come through the game in the future you will be done and that's basically it so I'm gonna put all the pictures in the video if you can't follow me or can't remember write it down on the paper take a screenshot save it in the folder I really gave everything what I could and I tried to explain it as best as best as I could and that's basically that one more thing you will need the buffs buffs will make you stronger I recommend you to go or buy from the other players the 50% HP buff 50% attack buff because that will boost your Digimon a lot, your stats, and I'm gonna put the picture of perfect cloning, so take a screenshot of that, you will need it, and yeah, that's basically it, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I wish you good luck on becoming the stronger rider player in this game, how to progress, Stay tuned because soon I will uh, release my video on how to level up fast. I will do the level up guide for the guys who are already strong. And for the guys who are not strong and they need like a little bit much time to level up. Stay tuned. Um, hope you guys like the video. And that's everything I have to say, good luck, or maybe you become a new most powerful guy on the server. Just, there is six crucial uh, things you need. Ring, necklace, critical damage, buff from the encyclopedia, gloves, attributing gloves, and attack chips. There were seven crucial things, but alright. And perfect cloned Alphamon, which is 130%. Um, mine is 129%. And that's basically it. After that, you're done. I know there is a lot of work to do now. So grab your GMO account and start doing those things. And one more disclaimer these things will not go fast. You will need at least 5 mounts on daily playing to get all those stuff but once you get it you will enjoy in your power that's all from me thank you guys see ya in the new video all right